Hi everybody, Patrick here from EngineeringShock.com and ElectronicLessons.com. This is a follow-up to my uh, ADC kit introduction video. Uh, if you haven't seen it, feel free to check out my channel. Um, this is the ADC kit, Analog to Digital, Digital Converter Kit, with a window comparator option. Uh, I will be doing a quick demonstration at the end, but the full demonstration is in another video. This video serves to show you how to put it together, uh, if you're buying it in kit form, and how to test it. So let's have a look and, and uh, I'll show you what what uh, comes with the kit. There's the custom PCB, nine red 3mm LEDs, a 4-pin header, a monetary push switch, a 10 microfarad electrolytic capacitor, a uh, header connector, 2-pin terminal block, 1N4148 diode, a 7805 5 volt regulator, two ceramic 0.1 microfarad uh, capacitors, a 1 mega ohm resistor, 3 10 k ohm resistors, uh, and 9 470 ohm resistors. And there's also an 18 pin dip socket and a programmed uh, pick. So, first of all, let's put our uh, resistors in. Since resistors have no polarity, you can put them in either way. The 470 ohm resistors, there are 9 of them, and there's, uh, they're right here, they're labeled 470R, uh, R3, R4, R5, R6, R7, R8, R9, R10, and R11 are all 470 ohm resistors. So, solder those into place, make sure there's no shorts. Um, R2, R13, uh, and R12 are all 10K, these three 10K. And it's all labeled on the board, you shouldn't have any problem, I'm just showing you where they are uh, in addition. Lastly, R1 is a 1 mega ohm resistor. So solder those into place, and next we'll do uh, our capacitors and our diode. Before we talk about the capacitors and the diode, I want to talk about R13. The left pin of R13 is very, very close to this ground pad, so be very careful not to short. It's very easy to. Um, now onto the cap capacitors. C1 and C3 are both labeled 0.1U, uh, and those uh, are these 0.1 uh, microfarad ceramic capacitors. They're not polarized, solder them into place, it doesn't matter what the orientation is. Now for the 10 microfarad electrolytic, that's a different story. Um, there's a long pin and a short pin, and this, this goes into the C2 slot. Now, on the left side here, you'll see a little plus sign. That's where you want your positive lead to go. So place your longer lead in the left and your shorter lead in the right. Now, the diode, it's a bit tricky. On um, the 1N4148 uh, diode, the 1N4148 diode, there is a uh, black side and an orange side. The black side is the negative side. Uh, on the uh, wire out here, the um, <coughs> there's a little... Sorry, on the... Uh, on the footprint on the right side there's a white stripe line the white stripe up with the uh... black side of the diode if you reverse that um, you won't be able to use your pulse input so make sure that you uh... make sure you solder that into the right orientation um, anyway it will solder those into place next we will do the socket the terminal block and uh... the button the terminal block has a, a front and a back. The back is just plastic. The front is the terminals on it. Make sure that when you place it into the PCB, that the terminals are facing out, or else you're going to have a heck of a, a heck of a time wiring in your power your power lines. Uh, <clears throat> the socket, the left side of the socket, has a little notch right here. If you look at the footprint, there's a little notch on the left hand side as well. Uh, line up the notch when you're soldering into place. Make sure that there's no shorts. And if you notice that the uh, <clears throat> the program chip on the left hand side there's also a notch make sure that the notch is on the left from this perspective so all the notches line up you turn it around you'll fry your chip lastly the cell button the select button only fits in one way pop it in make sure it's flush with the board and solder it all into place always be looking for shorts next we'll do the uh, four pin header uh, and the 7805 5 volt regulator on the front of the 7805 there's writing on the back it's pretty much just gray. On the footprint, there's a white backing. Make sure that the gray side, the ground side, is facing the back and that the side with the writing is facing the front when you solder it into place. The four pin header, very easy to do. Put, put the small side in and uh, solder them into place. Make sure that there's no shorts. When you're done that, you can put the uh, header connector on if you want, depending on what function you're going to be using. 
don't lose it. It's a small part. What I would do is if you're not going to be connecting anything, you put one side onto the left pin and so just so it sticks around but it's not making any connections. Uh, so solder those in place, we'll do uh, the nine LEDs and we'll be done. We'll do a quick test. Okay, when you're putting the uh, LEDs in, pay close attention. On the LEDs, there's a short pin and there's a long pin. On the LED footprint, there is a, a flat side of the footprint that also has some writing on it. And in this case, it's uh, LED zero. The side with the writing on it is the negative side and that's the shorter pin so make sure that your shorter pins go on the side with the writing on it in this case the outer pins and that the long pins face the resistors uh... the accept led same thing the negative side the shorter pin should go on the side with the writing so the left hand side and the long pin should go on the right hand side just keep thinking short pin side with the writing long pin uh... round side so just to, just to show you, I mean, I, I think I'm pretty clear on this. Long pin facing the resistor, short pin facing the writing. Long pin facing the resistor, short pin facing the writing. Solder those all into place, flush the board so it looks nice and neat, and then let's, uh, let's test it. One thing I forgot to mention is uh, there's two pins here la labeled uh, LEDs. If you short them, you basically you're, you're giving them a path to ground, so it, they will work. Uh, the logic will still uh, happen at the outputs, but as a visual, you have the option of sh making this short and allowing the LEDs to tell you what the logic is at each at each pin. So I'm going to short that in a minute. But one first test you want to run as soon as you power it on, you need 7 to 12 volts of the input. And there's a 5 volt regulator here. Uh, pins t pin 10 is a regulated 5 volts. Pin 9 is ground. So let's measure and make sure that there's 5 volts there. That's the first test you want to do. Yes, 5 volts. So that's a good indicator. Now I'll put a piece of wire here. I will short it, and we'll see. Uh, we'll uh, we'll take a reading on our ADC. When you power it up, you might see uh, bit one is turned on. That means that there's about 20 millivolts of, of noise floating on the input line. Now the ref plus is your ref plus pin is your input line. There's also a local ground there. Um, if that bo bit bothers you, that's just that's that's just noise essentially. Once you hook up your uh, whatever you're interfacing with it, that'll disappear. Uh, now, but if that does bother you, what you can do is uh, R1 is a one mega ohm pull down resistor on the ADC input line. So if you want, what you can do is you can change that to 100k or 10k, and that'll fix the, that'll fix it. But it's it's not really a big deal, uh, especially after you hook up whatever you're going to hook up with it. That won't be an issue. But here's how you test it: take your finger, touch the ref plus pin. Voltage on the human body, pretty neat, huh? You can use this as a touch sensor if you want. Um, but what you can do, uh, I'm not going to go through a full demonstration here because I did that in another video. I'm going to ask that you, you look at that video instead. But the one, one last thing I'm going to talk about here is the pins. Pin 10 is 5 volts. Pin 9 is ground. Uh, these are just in case you want to interface with uh, another board relatively easily. Uh, pin 8 is uh, the least significant bit. So uh, LED 0, bit 7, LED 2, all the way to uh, pin 1, which is the most significant bit, uh, LED 7. So uh, that's just for your interface. When I put this, when I put uh, this up for sale, uh, I'll be, I'll, I'll do a, a more detailed uh, wire up uh, di diagram, and I'll also be offering the schematic. So even if you're not interested in seeing, uh, even if you're not interested in seeing uh, or purchasing this, you can uh, see the schematic. So. Hopefully, if you purchase this, now you've got your own working analog to digital converter kit. Uh, you can reference this video whenever you want. You can reference the demonstration video whenever you want. Hope you like it, uh, and uh, thanks for watching.